In order to locate the pen pad and macro key manager on your Windows based computer, go to the system tray, which is located next to the time here, right click on it, and you will see the pen pad. In order to pull up the macro key manager, go ahead and double click on this icon and you will get this. Another way to locate the macro key manager is to go to the start button, all programs, and macro key manager, which is located right here. Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to the tutorial on how to use the pen pad settings on your VIS tablet VT12 original. To locate pen pad, go to your finder, click on applications, after you click on applications, scroll down to pen pad. Here is pen pad, double click, and there you have the window. Here it is, this is the about column. This is just a measurement unit for how the tablet measures its coordinates on the XY axis. Um, the tracking mode is how the pen reacts. So in pen mode, the, if you are in the le far left hand corner of your tablet, you are on the far left hand corner of your screen also. But if you are in relative mode, your computer will act just like a mouse, as in it can travel any distance from a set given point. Okay, and under the buttons tab, you have the, the two buttons and how you can configure them. You can click on the drop down menu and choose whichever option you prefer for both of the buttons. And the best setting for the pen offset value would be the auto setting. And the click pressure, it usually comes preset at four. We recommend for you to use it at zero. And for you to test how the pen pressure works for you, go ahead and click test. And just draw something. and. See, see how it works for you. And there we go. So this is putting a little pressure and this is putting a lot of pressure. There we go. Okay, and after you were all done changing the settings, go ahead and click exit. Another valuable setting on your VIS tablet are the 29 macro keys, which are located all around the tablet. If you see here, these are the 29 keys. The top 13 come pre-programmed, and all the ones on the sides are actually not programmed to anything while you are on the desktop of your computer. In order to program all these keys, or any of these keys, you have to go to the F key handler X on Mac. Go to the finder, click on Applications, Scroll up or down to the F key handler X. And here it is. This is the preset setting for Mac OS X and in Finder. Okay, and in order to set up a new profile, you click the new button. Application name would be, for example, Photoshop. And find the application in your application folder. Here we go, applications. Scroll down to Photoshop here. And Photoshop. And click the OK button. After you have done so, Photoshop will appear in this drop down menu. There's Photoshop. And here are the 29 keys that are located on your VIS tablet VT12. K1 would be key number one, which is located on your tablet. Key one is this is this key in the top left hand corner of your tablet. Okay, let's just program for example's sake, program key one as a setting, and what we would like for it to do is to undo. Uh, for example, if you were actually drawing something and you wanted and you frequently use the undo button, um, all you would have to do is actually hit K1 and it will undo the actions that you have just done. So here, let's type in the hint, undo. And we'd like to use it as a hotkey, meaning it actually does a certain action every time you click on it. So in Photoshop, to undo something, the, um, the command is 
Option, Command, Z. And, and that's all you need to do. Scroll down on this menu and click Z and hit the Confirm button. After you've hit Confirm, click OK. And now let's test and see how it works. Let's go into Photoshop and here's our, our blank canvas and let's go ahead and write something. Okay, and if we wanted to undo any of these actions, I would just go on here on my this tablet and go ahead and click K1. As you can see, everything is slowly being removed. And that is the tutorial on how to program your macro keys and program your pen pad settings. Thank you very much for watching.